Hey, it's Anna. So this is part three. For, 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 for. I can never get it when I'm on the ground. You can never get it when you pull me down. Even when I fall, let's be open now. Something about the space that I own and now. Something about the race to the richest town. Something about this place falling down. I don't want to glow up just to watch you drown. This ain't Holly Choco, we in fighting now. Hey, it's Zana. So this is part three of the seven scene mirrors. I have tried to film this video so many goddamn times and every time I keep stumbling on my words. So we're gonna try this again. The mirrors basically are a ways, see, I can't speak. Mm -hmm. The seven scene mirrors basically are the ways that all situations and relationships reflect you. So it's just ways to understand exactly what those situations are revealing to you about yourself so you can transcend the lesson. Okay, finally got the fucking phrase out. Anyway, so the third mirror is something that you've either lost, had taken away, or that you've given away yourself. So for example, if say, I'm just going to use career as an example because it's kind of easy for everyone to understand. But like, say your dream, you have a dream goal, a dream career, something that you really want. And you could either have had it taken from you. So like the opportunity is ripped away from you or you could have given it away. So like maybe you chose to have children instead or chose to be a stay at home mum, you know, or stay at home dad even. And so you've given away that opportunity or it could have been lost so like the opportunity never arrived it never came to you or it was there and then it was gone kind of thing so like all of those instances can trigger things in you so then if you were to attract a situation where you witness somebody else having real success real oh my god i can't get these fucking words out <laughs> uh, so <laughs> fuck's sake so say you then attract a situation where like you witness somebody else having real huge success that could trigger so many damn emotions in you because you've either lost it given it away or it's been taken so like say it was taken and somebody did something really awful that made you lose out on an opportunity that would have been yours if you then witness somebody else having that success that you really wanted it's going to spark so much jealousy so much envy like so much frustration and anger you know and resentment and you might even direct it at that person that's having success even though they were nothing to do with your circumstances you know like you may not have even known them when you were dealing with this issue, you know? So basically this mirror is just revealing something internal inside of you that then makes you react in certain ways to other circumstances, you know? So this mirror can be applied to absolutely everything and when you like are experiencing a situation and you work your way through these mirrors to try and figure out what it's showing you, oftentimes I feel like this mirror will be accurate when you're feeling jealous or envious of somebody else you know and then you can look and be like what was my circumstance like what is it that's making me so jealous of this other person's success or whatever it is that you're jealous of you maybe it's their image maybe it's their house maybe it's their whatever you know like what is it about your own circumstances and your own self that's making you envious of them and their life and when you understand that, you'll realise, oh, it's because I really wanted this thing, but it was taken away from me. Or, oh, it was because I really wanted this thing, but I chose to go in this other direction instead. And so now I'm really re resentful to anyone else that has it because I didn't take the opportunity when I had it in front of me, you know? And these things are painful as hell. Like, you really have to go easy on yourself because you are having to face the truth, you know? And truth can often be very scary and very painful and not always what you want to hear you know but the whole purpose of growth and of transcending your ego reactions is by facing yourself and you have to face your traumas you have to face your past you have to face your childhood you have to face all of the things that you probably don't really want to face you know and it means being honest with yourself and that is terrifying let me tell you from experience but it's liberating when you face it because once you understand that like I let go of an opportunity or I'm envious of the way this person looks because I feel like 
my looks were taken away from me or because I feel like I let myself go. Maybe you feel like you gave your looks away by not taking care of your body and so now you're envious towards somebody else that does take care of their body, you know, like whatever it is, it could be a million different things but when you understand exactly what is triggering in you, you then can heal that part of yourself. You can really like heal that wound that's hurting you and and like accept your body the way that it is or accept the fact that you chose to have children and be a stay-at-home mum instead of have the career and realize all of the blessings that you do have in the fact that you have beautiful children that you've got to experience all of their life and all of the really important vital moments with them instead of running around in a career you know and it may not have even been the career that really would have been fulfilling for you and that's why you didn't even take it you know, like everyone's circumstances are different and who's to say that what you wanted or what you do want even now, who's to say that if you had that thing you'd actually be happy? Like you could be wanting something that doesn't fulfil you and you think it will. But because it won't and because your soul and your heart knows that it won't, that's why it hasn't brought it into your life for you. You know, like everything happens exactly as it's supposed to because it's all for you. It's not against you, it's for you. So even when things are painful and you really do feel like you've lost something or somebody's taken it from you or like you're angry at someone, like this whole path is about the healing journey so once you uncover that and you gain the awareness of what the wound is you can then start the healing process and that means that you won't react and lash out to other people and like be resentful towards somebody else's success and feel like that dictates or that takes away from your own because it doesn't you know like you're on your own path and your own success comes when it's supposed to and not on anyone else's timeline so yeah, I hope this video kind of made sense. I really stumbled on so many words, but I feel like we got there in the end. But obviously I'm keeping it broad because it's hard to like delve into deep situations without knowing what each person is going through and everyone is different. So it really is just about understanding it for yourself and for your own circumstances and just looking at why you feel certain types of emotions towards certain people or situations and then see what that's revealing to you about yourself. So if you are feeling envious or jealous or resentful or you feel like angry or you feel like something was taken from you or like you lost something, like look at what that is showing you about yourself and then be able to heal that wound. And these things take fucking time. Like they take, it could take you a whole lifetime to heal that wound. So just go easy on yourself while you're uncovering this and while you're going through the process, you know. There's no point beating yourself up over it because at the end of the day your jealousy only affects you you know like your anger only affects you your sadness only affects you it doesn't affect the other person because they can't feel it you know so just do it for you like you're uncovering this truth for yourself and not for anyone else so that you can elevate your own mood and feel better about your life and then you will go after the things that you do want you will be able to be on the frequency where they naturally align anyway you know but it's just the path of healing internally. Oh, the joys. <laughs> but anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. And I'm going to leave the playlist down below for all of the other mirrors too. Because I am doing all seven. But yeah, all my links to social media and stuff will also be in the description box. As well as links to my music. Thank you so, so much for watching. And if you have any topics that you want me to talk about, definitely leave a comment down below. Or you can DM me on Instagram. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I need a man that will hold me down. If he a yes man, I ain't keeping him around. I need a